really tough international rally of Queensland this year. Dramas up and down the field, but having their own dramas, third outright, Molly Taylor, Bill Hayes, I think you're just amazed to be here. Yeah, we, we said as we were driving back in from that last stage, you know, super lucky to be on the podium, you know, considering the weekend. It was, um, you know, really challenging, but um, boys have always did a fantastic job as well as Bill. And, um, yeah, I guess uh, that's, you know, testimony was really was an endurance event for us, and, and that's what it came down to more than anything. Bill, in these uh, rallies, you know, endurance style, the points right for grabs, really important that you get home, regardless of the drums, you've got to keep fighting. Oh yeah, you just got to fight on and do what we can do. You're okay as well, by the way. <laughs> um, yeah, from that point of view, it was a tough weekend. Like, I've never done so much work on a car before, but uh, it's here and we've got some bags, some good points. You know, the championship well and truly still alive, so all good. That was a big focus, I think, come when the drama started was championship points, you know, you're in the hunt, you were leading coming into here, just behind at the moment behind Eli, Eli. it's coming a really good fight, isn't it, as we get to the tail end of the season? Yeah, certainly, uh, you know, when we did have those, those issues, as you say, you know, to, to catch Eli was impossible, so, you know, we just had to then, you know, take second best and, and focus on what we could do to, to salvage what we could out of the event, and now we've got some work to do, and, and we need to, um, you know, really fight when we come to Crofts. Second outright here, great job by Adrian Covenair and Kelly, well done. We keep saying that word tough from everyone, same for you guys as well. Yeah, it was. It was a bit of a tough weekend for everyone, I think, but um, we did a really good job. We kept our noses clean and got through, and the car was okay and fault ran faultlessly. You know, full credit to the boys, and Aaron did a great job on the note, so it all sort of came together for us, which is really good. Aaron, you seem to be going faultless. Adrian was telling us all weekend. He needed a bit of a pep up. Was that sort of some of your doing as well from the passenger seat? Um, yeah, I certainly tried to. Uh, I think he must have listened to me because we're on the pace today. Yeah. Yep. And that's a crucial part, this is a team sport, not just from inside the car, outside the car. The car's run pretty good, it's got to say. Yeah, the car's been great and, um, you know, it's just been a, you know, we're a team and Aaron and I, obviously, this is our third event, so it's really good for us to get a, a clean run through. We've had a bit of a tough start to the year, so it's all starting to come together really well for us and we're looking forward to getting into Rally Australia. And the winner is a very happy Team Citroen Australia, Eli Evans and Glenn Weston. Congratulations, power stage and event win, maximum points just about. Most stage wins as well, Dino, don't forget that. Oh, so, sorry, uh, that's important <laughs> for drivers, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, we'll take that. It's a bonus point, so uh, that's three rallies and three little most stage wins. So DS3, faultless again, had an absolute blast. Um, thanks, to, better thank the sponsors, Fiber Tech Medical, um, Total Lubricants, and also Tank Formers, and of course Citroen Australia. Um, and Ron Kremen running the team and all the boys, fantastic job. They've sent me out there. I threw everything through trees out at it, water splashes, and. Put it in two wheels about three or four times, but um, you know the boys always fix the car up for me, and, and we're able to get the win. Yeah. Then uh, obviously we're at the Park Fermi Inn. Still things are happening out in the forest, but we're expecting you'll probably uh, head away from this round with the lead in the championship. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I'm expecting we'll get in front of Molly just if she finishes today. We'll, we'll be a few points ahead, so that means the championship's still uh, up for grabs. So it's certainly not a foregone conclusion at all. Yeah. Eli, uh, two wins out of the three, championship lead potentially here as we leave. It's becoming a little bit of a two-horse race between yourself and Molly. How are you feeling right now at this moment? You know, big move for you to go to Citroen. Yeah, look, um, it's a very good decision, wasn't it, to um, team up with Citroen. And I'm just happy I'm getting them the results thereafter. And I was able to keep my word and say, you know, if you put me in that car, I reckon I can win. So, you know, it's great. Molly's doing a great job, but I feel like I've got to measure now. Um, you know, each stage we just keep increasing the gap so the pressure on, is on her now to see if she can maintain the speed for the rest of the season. Fighting words there but congratulations on a really good weekend guys, congratulations. Thanks Dino. Thanks Dino.